What did the detective say? Lauren, what did he say? It was Mark. They've arrested Mark. Mark? The police think that Mark did it? Why? Wait a minute. Why would they think that? They said he's confessed. He said that he did it? Why would he hurt Mom? They got along great. I don't know. I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you before. We had uh, some things that we had to check out. Are you sure that Mark did it? Yeah, he was wounded in the attack. He had blood all over him. You see, adults sleepwalk for only brief periods of time, maybe 10 to 40 minutes. That's not enough time to accomplish all the things you've told me this man did. And also, his actions sound so complex. It's not impossible for a sleepwalker, but it's unlikely. Dr. Corgan, would you at least examine Mark Shaw? Miss McAdam, I'll be very honest with you. If I thought there was a reasonable chance that this man was sleepwalking, I'd be very interested in seeing him. But, uh, as it is, I'm just swamped. Doctor, it's true, isn't it, that sleepwalking can be genetic? It does run in families, yes. Yeah. Mark's grandfather used to get up in the middle of the night and cook breakfast. And then there's Uncle Bert. Now, he used to run around in the yard of their summer cottage while fast asleep. All in all, there's no question Mark is genetically prone. So, you believe he was sleepwalking? No. No, I'm not prepared to say that yet. But I am impressed. What more do you need? Well, if Mark is truly a sleepwalker, then his brainwave patterns while sleeping would be abnormal. It's sort of a fingerprint for sleepwalkers. How would we find that out? There's only one way. Every one of us goes through a regular cycle of sleep each night that involves five stages. Now, you see how his eyes are moving rapidly there? Right now, Mark... Not your actions led to Anne's death. The real question is, were you to blame? I did it. Mark, someone's driving a car. He has a heart attack and blacks out. The car swerves onto the sidewalk and hits a pedestrian. Is the driver at fault? No. There's nothing you could have done, right? Could you have done anything to prevent Anne from being hurt? I don't know what. You, you didn't make a conscious decision to hurt her, did you? No, of course not. You didn't know what you were doing. You were blacked out. You were asleep. Mark. Exactly. Sounds like fairly conscious behavior to me. Damn right. Miss Matulas. Oh, Dr. O'Brien. Yes, your office told me I could find you here. You've been to see Shaw? Yes, I just left. Uh, is there some place private we can talk? Uh, yeah, we can, uh, just over here. I thought I should let you know as soon as possible. I got all the documentation. And? And they have been very thorough. To be blunt, I don't see any way of shaking their sleepwalking defense. What? Dr. O'Brien, you think that he drove over to his in-laws, killed someone, cut his hands to the bone in his sleep? I know. It sounds incredible. And they may well have a difficult time convincing a jury, but I believe it's true. Wait a minute. What's the difference? He was dreaming about killing his mother-in-law, and what do you know? He acted out his dream. That's a common misunderstanding, detective. Sleepwalkers are not dreaming. In fact, they're not thinking... Aiming a gun, for instance. Unlikely. They tend to show very poor coordination. Chasing a moving object. Probably not. Like someone trying to escape from an attacker? No, I didn't mean to suggest... Please answer the question, yes or no, is it possible? No. No. No what? No. No, a sleepwalker cannot pursue a victim the way we know Mark Shaw pursued Ann Lane? No. I, I mean, I mean, yes. I believe he was capable of pursuing her. First it's no, then it's yes. Which is it, Doctor? Your Honor. Question withdrawn. You've testified that one of the reasons that you believe Mark Shaw was sleepwalking is that he has no memories of the events of May 23rd. That's correct. Are you saying, then, that there's no possibility that he recalled stabbing and bludgeoning his mother-in-law? I have no evidence that he recalled Just anything. Just answer. That strange primordial state which led, in this instance, to a senseless tragedy. Certainly for Anne Lane and for her family. But also for Mark Shaw, 
who must live for the rest of his life with the terrible burden of knowing he inadvertently took the life of someone he loved. 